This butterfly is one of California's rarest insects and one of the rarest butterflies in the world. This butterfly is known as the Palos Verdes Blue Butterfly. As the name suggests, this butterfly is found across the cool, fog-shrouded seaside of the Palos Verdes Hills on the Palos Verdes Peninsula in Los Angeles, California. However, due to the loss of habitat in the hills, their populations have dwindled in the last decade. Some estimate that there are only up to 200 individuals left. The species was actually presumed extinct until it was rediscovered by scientists back in 1994. These butterflies are generally small. Their wingspan is only up to about an inch long. Males have a silverly blue pigment on the inside of their wings, while females have a grayish blue instead. On the outside of their wings, they are white and have small black dots running along the border of their wings. One factor that is causing the rapid decline of the Palos Verdes Blue is weed control and off-road vehicle use. Many of the native vegetation sites have been altered by many fire control practices and the spread of weed pesticides. Pesticide control companies spray lots of the butterflies' habitats with harmful pesticides, thinking that those plants are weeds. They are actually beneficial wildflowers for the butterflies. Off-road vehicle use also destroyed many parts of the butterflies' habitat, including their host plants such as common deerweed and local weed, which these butterflies depend on to reproduce and raise their caterpillars and eggs. Because of the loss of these plants, many declines have occurred. Habitat loss also gravely affected the butterfly. In 1982, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes decided that they wanted to build a new baseball field. This site was one of the only habitats left for the butterflies, leaving many to believe that the species had gone extinct. In 1987, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service took the city to court, claiming that the city was in violation of the U.S. Endangered Species Act. The city ended up winning because the U.S. Endangered Species Act only protected species against the act of other individuals. Fortunately, soon later in the year 1994, the species were rediscovered by Rick Rogers, Rudy Matuni, and Timothy DeLune at the Defense Fuel Support Point in the nearby city of San Pedro. Populations were also increasing thanks to Moore Park College. An estimated 1,000 of the Palos Verdes Blues were released during the end of 2019 to the early spring of 2020. They also devoted to plant 1,400 deerweed plants throughout the rolling hills. Because of these conservation efforts, the butterflies are now making a slow comeback. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.